Hello and welcome to Drone DJ. My name is Haya Castel and I'd like to talk to you about the invitation from DJI for the upcoming event in New York City on January 23rd. Last Friday morning we found an image on Twitter of an invitation that seemed to be from DJI and it said Adventure Unfolds uh, for an event to be held in New York City uh, 10 a.m. on January 23rd. Now DJI had already personally told me a week earlier when I met with them in New York that there was going to be an event later in January on the 23rd to be precise. So when we saw this invite and the same image that we used in our later uh, blog article Friday morning, a lot of people said that this couldn't be an official DJI invitation. Uh, for one, all the DJI events had been at 11.30 uh, a.m. New York. Uh, so at 10 a.m. that didn't make sense. Um, the quality of the image was too low for it to be a real official DJI invitation. The graphics used in the image weren't good enough to be an official invitation. Now, of course, we wouldn't just regularly post something like this or um, post an invite from DJI if we weren't absolutely sure about the uh, authenticity of the invite. So before posting the article we had actually sent out an email to DJI asking them like hey guys we found this on Twitter uh, can you confirm that this is an official DJI invitation and they did so we know for a fact that the invite is legit. Okay then we get to the second part um, once we had posted the invitation on our website, we started researching, okay, what could this new product from DJI possibly be? Um, during the CES uh, show in Las Vegas, they already came out with the Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, they had already launched the Ronin S. Uh, for, for that week, we were hoping that DJI would come out with new drones. They didn't, they came out with new stabilizers. So now looking at this invite, we would expect DJI to come up with a new drone and not, not some other kind of product. Um, I think it would also make sense for DJI not to be one a part of a larger event, but to want to have their own events singled out so that they can get all the press attention basically on launching a new product. Now from the invite, we know it's gonna be New York City, 10 a.m. January 23rd. Um, in the slogan it says, Adventure Unfolds. And there's really only one product from DDI that uh, has anything that folds and it's the Mavic with the folding arms. So that was our first clue that this potentially could be a new Mavic. The second thing is the silhouette. And the silhouette looks like something that's sleek, that's aerodynamic. Uh, it has a very fast uh, streamlined profile, if you will. Uh, we think that may well be a silhouette image or graphic of the side profile of a new Mavic. Um, of course, these are just our interpretations. Uh, this is still no proof, no evidence. Uh, so the rest of the Friday we spent researching and seeing if we could find anything else that would uh, substantiate our theory, basically, that DJI in fact would come out with a new Mavic Pro. Then we stumbled upon uh, two posts on a forum, or two different forums, uh, really. Uh, one was about a store opening from DJI in Brisbane, Australia, where somebody had spoken to the DJI workers and a DJI person had said that DJI was going to come out with two new products, two new drones. Uh, first of all, a small drone, smaller than the Spark, that would flip. And secondly, a smaller Mavic called the Mavic Air uh, that would be positioned below the current Mavic. Now the first part we know came true. During CES, another product was launched in partnership with Intel and GDI uh, called the Tello drone, a toy drone that actually flips and sells for $99. So that part is true, uh, leads us to believe that that DJI person in the store opening in Brisbane may have actually known what he was talking about and it could be that the second part of what he said is gonna be true as well about the Mavic Air. Um, then as we started researching more, we came across another forum post where somebody who had been on a trip in Bali had actually witnessed a photo shoot of a new Mavic Air from DJI. And when I read Bali, I thought, hey, that's interesting. Uh, we've seen all these lifestyle photos from the Osmo uh, Mobile 2, and it looks like some of those images, or probably all of those images, have been taken in Bali as well. So we started going through the images and there are a bunch of temples in the Ubud district in Bali. And if you look at the outfit, uh, the clothing of the dancers in the images from DJI, and you use a Google image search to look for 
dancers in Bali, you see that they have the exact same outfits. Now, then we started looking at other photos. There's one image where there is a red and white scooter. So we started researching if we could trace back those scooters and link them to Bali as well. And sure enough, there is a red uh, scooter that is pretty popular, it seems, among uh, bike rental facilities in Bali. It's called the Scoopy uh, scooter. So those two images for us were enough to prove that the Osmo Bobo 2 photo shoot had been in Bali, had taken place in Bali. And that if somebody had been to Bali on a trip, had witnessed the Mavic Air photo shoot, that that may well be true. So you have the story from Brisbane, from the DJI store opening. You have the story from Bali. Then you look at the invite where it says, okay, uh, adventure unfolds hinting to a folding product, a new product that's worthy of having its own event, not being part of a bigger um, show like CES. Um, and then the silhouette. All those things together, of course, we can't guarantee that, yes, we know for sure that this is gonna be the new Mavic Air, but there is a good chance and a great likelihood, I think, that uh, it will in fact be the DJ, um, DJI Mavic Air. Then we come to the last evidence for our DJI Mavic Air theory. If you remember when DJI launched their Mavic Pro Platinum Edition, they had a similar slogan. It said, a new adventure unfolds. And in the image that they used, they had a silhouette of the new low noise propellers that are part of the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum Edition. So if you look at the current Invite and you compare it to the previous one, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird that they would be using a similar slogan, but the style and the idea and the concept of an unfolding adventure uh, has been a consistent one with DJI. Now, furthermore, we've seen discounts already on the Mavic. They've introduced uh, different colored models. Uh, you could say that the uh, Platinum Edition is somewhat of a small upgrade. Uh, it's almost like a facelift that you see in the car industry when cars are at the end of their life cycle. Uh, they launched the Alpine White Edition. It's a similar feature. It's, it's not really a new drone, it's just a new color, but it's something that they would do to give the, the last inventory that they have basically of their Mavic Pro a little boost before they move into a new product. Um, if you look at all these little bits and pieces of evidence, we feel pretty confident that DJI is gonna launch a new Mavic Air later this month. Uh, do we know for sure? Of course not. Could it be something different? Yes, uh, of course it could be something different. Uh, however, we are pretty confident and we're very much looking forward to a new uh, Mavic Pro. Um, we've loved the current one. Our Spark is the most favorite drone, the one that we use uh, most often. The Mavic is the one that we use for more serious work and when we really want to enjoy flying greater distances for, for longer time. Uh, so to get a new Mavic that's supposedly going to be lighter, more streamlined, uh, probably faster as well, so we're expecting an increased flight time, uh, is something we look forward to uh, very much. So please stay tuned with Drone DJ. We'll make sure that we stay on top of the news and we'll either post it on our website or here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Hayek Eskelo. This was Drone DJ bringing you our spin on the news in the drone industry.